Okay, guys, this is actually something that happened right where I used to live. Um, says here, this occurred August 18th. Um, it was a wild scene early Saturday morning after a fight at the lounge turned into a shootout in the Bronx. Police say the chaos happened on Radcliffe and Allison Avenue. Investigators are still trying to put all the pieces together to figure out what happened. Detectives say an argument of some sort in the Bruxelles Lounge spilled into the street just before 4.30 a.m. Four people were shot and two people were stabbed. The shooter was reportedly in a car passing by and fired into the, uh, into the crowd, sending six people to the area hospitals. The most serious injuries, a 24-year-old woman in critical condition after being shot in the head. A 25-year-old man was also stabbed in the head. The, me uh, the melee was so violent that it left a string of evidence from shell casing, shoes, and pieces of clothing scattered all over the road. Investigators won't say how, but they do confirm that a white Range Rover is part of the investigation. Chantal Harris lives around the corner and heard the shots. It's peaceful. You don't hear about anything. No fights, no arguments, she said, which is true. Um, my neighborhood was never really that uh, dangerous. Shootings and stabbings and stuff. Uh you know, like one in a million. Um, so this right here is a little crazy. Uh, it says the Brooks Ellie Lounge is mostly for private parties, but police say four people have been arrested for running an unlicensed club. So I don't know if that has anything to do with anything. Uh, this is just crazy. Um, Complete, completely crazy um, how close to home this stuff is uh, getting. Um, I'm trying to see if it says anything more about... It says no arrests have been made, but police said three persons of interest are in custody. Anybody with information is urged to call the NYPD's Crime Stoppers. Uh, um, let's see if there's any more information on this. Um, This is just crazy, man. This is like right, literally, people, like right around the corner from where I live my entire life. Like, it's, it's really nuts. Completely nuts. Um, geez Louise, man. Person Friday night shooting. And here's something else um, that was on the same page uh, from that same from my same area. It says police handcuffed at least one person um, Friday night, September 29, 2017, which I didn't even hear about. Okay, you see how all these things are like popping up and like nobody even heard about them. Uh, a shooting left a man dead. Um, in front of an Allerton Seafood restaurant. Witnesses say the shooting may have followed an argument about money between a uh, disgruntled employee and dis disgruntled employee's significant other and someone who oversees the restaurant on 2542 White Plains Road. Happened at 7.30 p.m. Police have not confirmed the details of the incident. Police took one person away in handcuffs and question the other employees. Neighbors say the incident shocked them and that man was well known, kind, and respected and not to be violent. So, I mean, holy shit, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is just, 
this is just so out of control. Like, this could have been me going to this club around the corner from my house and being killed. Like, it's... This shit is getting, like, way... It's just getting way out of hand. And, um... want you guys to leave, um... Your thoughts in the comments. If you have any other information about this specifically, let me know. And, um... That's about it on this one. I'll let you know if I find anything else. Okay, guys, this is actually something that happened right where I used to live. Um, says here, this occurred August 18th. Um, it was a wild C 